two years ago that Julie and I sat down. Julie's our music teacher and music therapist. But we talked about uh, getting a group of youngsters to play uh, for the principals conference. And uh, out of that, uh, this band all of a sudden got started. And the next thing I knew, there was this thing called the Bad News Bulldog Band. They gave me a class and they called it ensemble class. So I could make it anything I wanted to. Rock and roll music and pop music is a great way to, to connect with the students. Um, usually I don't have them for too long. They come to our school for a year or two and then they, they go. And so it's a little bit of an, uh, a unique teaching situation. So I thought I can, be, I can afford to be unconventional and try a rock band instead of you know, a typical orchestra or band or choir situation. It makes you, it just makes you feel like you're somebody. And being in the band just basically makes you feel like, hey, I'm a, I'm a visually impaired person and I'm out in the world doing something. Well, I enjoyed like the audience's reaction mostly because it helps me like feel, feel better about, about, my, about myself, about the talent that, that I have. I've noticed that they've become more confident. Uh, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year to, to right now, I feel that there's a big difference in their confidence level on stage and the way they present themselves. When I came here, I found out, wow, I can play the guitar, and I, it builds up confidence, and then you're, it's, you know that you're better at doing more things. And... Oh, I never want to go. It, every time we play somewhere, it's kind of neat. We get such a good reaction that we get invited to other places. So what started out was just a group we were going to play for a fundraiser for the school. Ended up, um, we ended up getting more gigs and more gigs after that. And, um, and now, it, it, I'm really excited that it's actually a stand, like people expect to see the band and they expect to hear the band at places and events. And all the Kind of changed the way I play my flute because before I did mostly classical music and you know traditional stuff and now I have to do a lot of improvising and I have to do a lot of different stuff to fit with the rest of the band and so it's it's broadened what I can do with my flute. That's been a big change is that they're start they're confident enough in their instruments that they're starting to have their own ideas and that's really a, a, a good thing. As a teacher, it's gratifying. I'm going to introduce on auxiliary percussion, we have Tyler Nicholson. <laughs> on rhythm guitar, we have Alex Kahn. <laughs> on male vocals, we have Zach Brunetti. I guess we're kind of like the leaders of the school now. Like everybody likes music and that kind of impacts like everyone everyone always says hey, you guys play so good and they always bother us about how good we are and so they're kind of popular now so you're popular <laughs> so it's yeah. I mean there's there's not very many students in the school anyway but still at the same time we're still popular yeah. we have Danyar Kadirmikov straight from Kazakhstan <laughs> on rhythm guitar Nick Chambers <laughs> On keyboard, we have Carlos Ramirez. Yeah. On bass, we have Justin Coffin. Yeah. On female vocals, we have Ronnie Karen. Yeah. On vocals and flute, we have the talented Allison Utter. Yeah. If these youngsters like uh, Carlos and Justin and Allison uh, and Ronnie, go on, whether they go into music or not, they have music there that will help them uh, and be a part of their lives, whatever they may do. If I were to go back to, to uh, public school now, I would have a reason to be, to be who I am because of what I've, been, what I've been doing. They would say that I'm nobody, but now that I know I'm something, I can look at them and go, I could look at them and go, I don't have to listen to you because I know I'm somebody. 
you don't make me feel the way you used to make me feel, and you don't make me feel bad anymore. Now, as I, as I grew up here, I realized on how much this school does for visually impaired and blind people, mm. and just the higher self-esteem that they give them. Because blind people, blind and visually impaired kids, when they're real little, they feel like they can't do anything. My purpose of basically joining the band is to get the point to people, to, visual, to fully sighted people. Blind people can do things. Blind people can make a difference.